welcome to another edition of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. And we're going to spend some more time with Hank Sheffer, and he's going to tell us about the first time that he and I met out at Apache Land. Hank? Part of the magic of Apache Land was the people you got to meet, uh, the people you got to work with. Um, most of it, most of it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of sitting around, just like on a movie set. Anytime you go on any kind of movie set, there's a lot of sitting around. It just that's the way it is. But at Apache Land, um, we had some we had some fun with uh, Larry John Wright because he did some filming out there. We had interviews out there with uh, my old partner uh, Don Plummer, who had set up some interviews. We just did those interviews in town uh, that Larry John Wright used. I, I think it was his show, uh, Arizona Cowboy, is, is where he used those. But I also got to meet this, this guy hanging on. I don't know where he came from. Uh, Charlie LaSware, Les, yeah, LaSware or something like that, who came out there. And I was really fortunate to meet this guy because at that time, we did so much stuff that was just off the cuff um, we had one where I had done a, uh, a little piece for Apache Land where I, I was say I was part, part of, uh, partly drunk and I was going to shoot cans off of this roof. And what I said, I had the guy, I said, if you're going to do this and the bottle was over here, you, you, you don't want to do this. And say, no, no, don't do that. And put the bottle down. And the thing was, I did a couple tricks. And I turn around and I shoot the can off this roof. And of course, the can always disappeared. I had three of them up there, and I, bam, and the cans would go away. Well, the way that was done was I always made a point if I was in front of people doing it, I'd take my foot and hit the ground when I pulled the trigger. And so they'd look to see if I had a trigger there on the ground or, or a hydraulic line or, or something. What we had was a highly sophisticated system that we used with that. One of the fellows that worked with me at Apache Land was Charlie Graves. And what we did was we had three mouse traps that were on the roof with strings on them. And the can would sit on that mouse trap and Charlie was underneath them inside the building with the string. And when I'd go bang, he pulled the string and the can magically disappeared. So it was really a fun thing to do, but people were trying to figure out, they'll, they'll come up with the most sophisticated way of doing a stunt you can possibly imagine. We had a stunt where we'd have an explosion. Oh my goodness, it, it was really a toughie. We, we would take a flash cube like you used to get with your little, uh, your little cameras way back when and take all the plastic off of it and put that in the bag that was full of gunpowder and cornstarch. Seal the bag up, and when you wanted it to go bang, you would, you would touch it to a D battery, and the flash tube would flash, the powder would go off, and the great thing about it was your whole set smelled like dad's cookies. <laughs> it was wonderful. It didn't always work, but then you had to have somebody shoot and make a bang, because it didn't make much of a bang. But at any rate, we do those stunts. But anyway, now we get back to Charlie the Swear. And he's out there one time, and we're doing a, he was doing an interview for his show about Apache Land. And that was really cool. We talked about uh, sophisticated things like unbullets. Uh, he asked me about people getting shot all the time, and I said, well, what we use is unbullets. And the reason we did that was because um, for the longest time, uh, we were shooting people all the time. And, and Central Casting down in Phoenix called us and said, uh, you've got to get away from the real bullets because you're killing too many people. So we went to using blanks and unbullets. And they were quite content with that in the crowd that that's why we went to using blanks because we were shooting too many people. Well, now getting back to Charlie. Charlie had seen me shoot these cans off that roof and he said, I want to do that. And I said, well, that'd be all right. And I told him he could use the, the six shoot or use my shotgun because I want to make sure he hit it. 
and we were trying to make a big deal out of it. She says, no, I, I want to do that just like you did. So I said, okay. So I, I fiddled around with the gun, got it ready to shoot. He said, but I'm, I'm going to do it a little bit different. And what he did was he turned away from the cans and he pointed the gun out toward the chapel. And he says, well, if I shoot that way, it'll probably, and I said, yeah, probably hit the bell. And then it'll go over and it'll hit. And we didn't talk anymore after that. He went, bam, ka-ching, ka-ching. And Charlie pulled the string. The other Charlie pulled the string and the can went away. And I asked Laswear, I said, you didn't tell me you could do that. And Charlie said, you didn't ask. Now, this is one of the things you see in the movies all the time where a fellow shoots the bottles or he shoots a can. Of course, you're still shooting blanks, but that can magically disappeared. Oh! Okay. All through the magic of television. All right. And I'll tell you what, I can take this old Colt and I can pull that out and I can point it right at that can right over yonder and it'll go away every time. Holy smoke. Just Think magic. I could try that? Sure. Okay. Tell you I'll what, get... why don't you use the shotgun, because that way I know you'll get it. Uh, no, no, no. no. Let, let me just try your gun there. I can, you I can do You want to go it. with yeah, this old yeah. coat? I've been practicing a little bit. Well, let's see what we got here. We'll get rid of that puppy there. Now, don't don't let that, that beat you up too bad. All you got to do is pull this back. Uh-huh. You pull that back, and then you pull this, and you point that their way. Okay, well, I'm going to, you know, kind of do it a little harder. You're going to show off hard way. I'm just going to try it here. Let's see what happens. Okay, just going to try this, and... See, we got the, we've got the can right up there. If I point it this way here, you'll probably hit the church bell. Well, let's see what happens. Ching, ching. That's it. He's out of here. Okay. Next. You didn't tell me you could do that. Well, you didn't ask. Well, that was one time he was out there. Of course, we never knew what was going to happen when Charlie and I got together which was really a great thing because we didn't either. But we were doing another shot out there of falling off a roof. You remember that, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, falling off the roof. And so I had my, my other fall guy, uh, Cliff Johnson, was on the roof and he's making a noise and I turn around, and boom, I shot him with the shotgun and off the roof he went and that was that was amazing. Charlie come running up. He said, my Charlie, Charlie the swear, he says, I want to do that. I said, what? I said, why? He said, well, I want to do that. Just like he did. I said, okay. So we walked around, got him. I said, let me show you how we do this. And he got him up on the roof. And sure enough, I'm up there on the roof with him. And here comes Cliff with that gall darn shotgun and shoots Charlie and off the roof he went. When you shoot it to make it look real, you make it buck. And it makes both sides of the gag work. The stunts are called gags. And that way, when this part of the stunt works, then when the guy gets shot or he falls off the roof or whatever it is, then he makes the other part of the gag work and everything looks real. So you're really pulling it back yourself then. That's right. And it makes both ends of the gag work. So that's what we've got to stress out there for the people watching, especially the kids. And this, is, this is something that, that you've, you've taken a lot of time with. That's right. These are not toys. Okay, what have, you, what have you got to show us now? Okay, well, the one singular stunt that everybody wants to see is somebody fall off of something. He can fall off a bucket, he can fall off a building, but they yeah. want to see him fall off of something. Oh, hey! That was great. Whew, you think I could do something like that? Why? Because it's there, I guess. Well, if you got a mind to, we'll show you an easy way to do it. I don't want you doing what he did. No, no, I want to do it just like that. I want to do it just like I want to do it just like that. Well, I reckon we could do that. It really looks like you fell a long way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It does. It's just a little under 75 feet, Charlie. <laughs> I, get, I, get stunt, I get stunt pay for those things. Oh, I wish we did. <laughs> it's the only way I get paid by the stunt. Anyway, can I do something like that? Sure. All right, let's try it. Let me show you how to do it. All right. It was your idea, Charlie. Is, is there an age requirement on doing something like this, Hank? Well, no, not really. Uh, 
If you've been doing it as long as Cliff and I have, uh, <clears throat> and you're still doing it, you must be doing it right. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, what are you moving away from? Uh... <laughs> Charlie? Charlie? From Apache Land, I'm Hank Sheffer. Thank you all a lot. Charlie? Unbeknownst to me that Charlie had been in film for quite some time, I didn't know that. You know, Hank, I saw the stuntman fall off the roof, and I thought, that's cool. I want to try that. So you had it arranged. I got up on the roof, and all of a sudden, it looked like maybe the building had grown a little bit, uh, maybe about six feet or something, because it. I'm looking down. That's a long way down there, and, and there was uh, a couple of old mattresses down there. That's all there, there was to, to break your fall. So you had to land just right. And uh, it, it took me a while, but you know, I, I hey, I did it for the Gipper. <laughs> I, I, I jumped and I think I did pretty good. Because Charlie doesn't wear a sign says I was in film. I've done stunts. No, no signs. No stunts. No, 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 no. I, I didn't no do the stunts. I always had a stunt wow. man do them. Well, you did that day. <laughs> Welcome to the Stuntman's yeah. Association. <laughs> Whoa! Ha! I still got it. Hey, listen, thanks, Hank, for talking to us about those great days. But as you can see, I still can do those stunts. Or can I? Just another mystery of the Superstition Mountains. Yeah.